A lot of people want to know about emulating Switch on the Steam Deck. Rightfully so. The Steam Deck is good enough that in most cases I won't be needing this thing anymore. But unsurprisingly, Nintendo is taking down emulation videos. I've come up with a Switch emulation video that Nintendo can't take down. I hope. <laughs> Let's get into it. What's good, Deck Gang? First of all, shout out to the Fox who already put up a Switch emulation video that Nintendo subsequently had taken down. Thankfully, it can still be found on Reddit and on the Internet Archive, so we're seeing shades of the Streisand effect here. In any case, I'll include links below. Notably, Linus talked about this saga on the WAN show and indicated that he will challenge Nintendo on this by making his own Switch emulation video, basically daring them to have it taken down. He thinks Nintendo doesn't have a legal leg to stand on, and he's probably right. Unfortunately, I'm a small creator and don't have the means to challenge Nintendo, so I'm going to get around this problem by not showing Nintendo games at all. I've put together a comprehensive guide that includes connecting controllers, preparing files, installing the emulator, running it in gaming mode, and configuring some hotkeys using Steam input. And to go through all of that, I won't be showing a single Nintendo game. I've found five hidden gems that are currently not playable on PC outside of emulation. For the most part, they're not going to showcase the performance of emulation on the deck, but they're going to help me walk through this guide for you. I formatted a 512GB microSD card as EXFAT. This is a file system that is both compatible with Windows and SteamOS, even if it's not a particularly performant file system. If I was thinking about this as a console, it'd be a perfectly suitable solution, and in fact, I believe all modern consoles can read EXFAT, so this decision made sense to me. We're installing Yuzu today, so you're going to need two sets of files. First, you need the key files that Yuzu uses to decrypt game files. These files are called prod.keys and title.keys. Yuzu's quick start guide includes instructions on how to dump them from your Switch if you've modded your console, and if you haven't modded your Switch, you can technically find and use someone else's key files, but you're going to be on your own on how to get them. Next, you need your games. Yuzu's quick start guide also shows you how to dump your games, again if you have a modded console. So you want to put all these files on your micro SD card. Now, let's go back to the Steam Deck. First, we need to get to desktop mode. You go to desktop mode by hitting the Steam button, going down the power menu, and selecting switch to desktop. This is going to close gaming mode and switch to the desktop mode on the deck. So let's go ahead and install Yuzu. This part is super easy. You open up the Discover app down in the taskbar. I typed in Yuzu to find it, but you can also navigate the menu by going into games, then emulators. Once installed, I pinned it to the taskbar for ease of use without a keyboard. At this point, you can also add it to Steam. Open up the Steam library, click add a game, then add a non-Steam game, then find and tick Yuzu. Click add selected program and boom, it will now be available in gaming mode when you get back to it. For now, let's open Yuzu up in desktop mode. You'll get an error that the encryption keys are missing, but first make sure to switch the backend from OpenGL to Vulkan. In any case, as the Yuzu quick start guide suggests, you need to put your encryption keys in the keys folder of the Yuzu directory. If you don't know how to get to the Yuzu directory, Yuzu has a convenient shortcut for you. Just click file, open Yuzu folder. From here, open the keys folder. This is where you need to put your keys. So take the key files from your SD card folder and paste them into your Yuzu keys folder. Back in gaming mode, you can open your library and navigate to non-Steam apps. Here you'll see Yuzu. Open that bad boy up you'll see the same Yuzu window with your games loaded. You can navigate with the D-pad and press the B button on the Steam Deck to launch a game. Now, one thing to note is that you'll probably want to use Steam input to enable some things. In particular, I set up the right trackpad as a mouse and I set up the left trackpad with a radio menu that will allow me to toggle full screen using F11 or stop emulation using F5. You may want to use some action layers or something like that so you don't accidentally stop the emulation. And you may want to set up something for save state, load state, or some other hotkeys. So I want to talk about some of the games I'm showcasing here. These are third-party games that are currently not sold on PC. The only way to play them on PC is to use emulation. First is Ninja Saviors, Return of the Ninja Warriors. This is the sequel to Ninja Warriors, the SNES-based beat-em-up. I bought this on the Switch, but have desperately been wanting to play on my handheld PC. Now I finally can. Even though I beat it a couple times on Switch, this is a game that I keep coming back in order to unlock all the characters and eventually complete a 1cc run.
Next up is 13 Sentinels. Originally it was on PS4 and it's currently on its way to the Switch. This is a Japanese demo of the game and so far it's running well, but there's no telling how it's going to run in those late game mega battles. This is my favorite game from Vanillaware and it's a really gripping visual novel mixed with some solid tactical battling. Crash Team Racing was remade for consoles in 2019. Unlike the Crash Trilogy remastered before it, or Crash 4 after it, this has yet to make its way to PC and continues to be stranded on consoles. That's a shame because the original is a classic and still holds up today in this remake. Confession time, I bought Golf Story, but I've never played it. It got a lot of praise, but I waited for a PC port that just never came. Now I can play it on deck. Prinny, Can I Really Be the Hero 1 and 2 are extremely underrated and overlooked platformers. Previously stranded only on PSP, it's now stranded on PSP and Switch. You could emulate the PSP versions if you prefer, but I decided to go with the slightly updated Switch versions. There are plenty of other games, of course, but sadly, most of them are published by Nintendo, even ones you may not think of, like Triangle Strategy and Marvel Ultimate Alliance. But that doesn't mean I'm done here. This is just the beginning. Hit subscribe and slap the bell to make sure you're here for the next time I drop a Switch emulation video, because I will be poking the hornet's nest. Decking out. Goodbye.